my good people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time. This is Regina Joseph and I am in my kitchen where I do my cooking. Remember in this kitchen, we normally cook food using the simplest and easiest method. And tonight, my people, we are going to cook ofuru. These are sister or brother to omena. You know omena, the small fish. Today we'll be cooking this. And they are normally very yummy. People do love them. And a lot of people love eating them with ugali. And this is what I'll be making them. Look how they are. The difference is this one. They don't smell. And there is something affront about this small fish. This one, they don't smell like the omena. Let me show you omena so that you can see the difference. There are many types of these small fish. These are the omena, the small one. I have cooked this several times, but I have never cooked this. And today, let's try this recipe. And let us now start. Sometimes we get bored eating skumawiki, eating cabbage. And sometimes we normally feel that you need to eat something special and something yummy. That's why I normally buy this, store them. So that anytime I get bored with other food, I will just cook this. Let me put it where it's supposed to be. And remember, whenever you buy this fish, the first thing is to remove that. We have to clean them, wash them so well to remove the dirt because they are direct from the market. They are so fresh and they are so good and they are not even smelling. I have already selected them and removed the rotten one. Because you know, whenever you buy these things, you have to be extra careful because you can even get dead snails. You can get stones, small stones. So you have to be very careful wherever you are selecting them. And now, this is my boiling water. We have to soak them in boiling water. Watch them so well so that they will be very clean. Let me go direct to my sink. And another thing today, in this Regina Joseph kitchen, we are going to eat different food. You can see I have got chopped potatoes. We are also going to eat chips. I'm putting it here because I want it to drain the water. Let me just put it there. And now my people, the first step. Let me take a bowl. Let me go direct to my sink and clean them. Let me now soak them. Let me remove them. I have to soak them once more.
They are very clean. I've cleaned them so well. Now let me go direct here. I'll be using my spring onions and tomatoes to cook my ofulu. And my people, let me tell you. Me, I just hear people calling it ofulu. It's called like that by the people from Nyanza. Luo people do love eating this. In English, I don't know how it's called. In Kiswahili, I don't know the name. But me, I just hear people calling them ofulu in the market. So I'm used to calling it that. And the first step, I'm going to put my cooking oil because me i like flying my ofuru the first step so let me now put my cooking oil let me put it away. And when you compare this ofuru with the other small omena, ofuru, I think it has got meat than the omena. You know, omena is normally so dry. And let's taste this. For this, you don't have to wait until the cooking oil heat. Let me dip them here. And let's wait for our food to cook well. I'll keep on standing. And as I continue that, let me now start preparing my onion. Let me turn so that they cook all the sides.
and now my people i want to put salt they have to keep on turning and i want to put my salt so that it can penetrate inside my big fish let me now put my salt you know me i'm not used to calling that name make sure you put enough of it we have to season and let me now reduce the heat because i don't want them to burn i want them to cook slowly It is well fried. Now let me remove them. And now I want to start putting my onions and my tomatoes. And because I want to economize my cooking oil, and this one is not bad, I still use this. So let me put, I will not put a lot. And let me now put my spring onions. When you are burning the onions, do not put a lot of cooking oil because you know our opuru is already fried. So I just need very little cooking oil just to burn my onions. Let's wait for them. Let me now put my tomatoes. My tomatoes are quite hard. I need to soften them. Then. Let me reduce the heat so that they cook well.
Now it's time for me to put them here. And I have tasted my salt. It didn't penetrate well. So let me add to make sure that we taste very well. And they are fully cooked. You can serve them like this. But for me, I love putting very little water. Because I want them to soften even more. That one is enough. Let me cover. They are well cooked. Let me switch my fire off. And my people, as usual, you know in this kitchen, anytime I cook, I have to taste and taste whatever I cooked before I serve to my family. And the reason as to why I do that, maybe my food is salty. Maybe the food is not salt. So I have, first of all, to taste so that wherever I'm serving my family, I'm serving them something which is good. And now let me take my plate. But you know what, my people? Today, I have to disappoint you. Me, I will not taste these things. I will not taste this because I don't love eating them. But you know what? Even though you don't eat something and there is one member of your family who loves eating them. You have to make sure you cook them very well and very perfectly. For me, I do not eat them. But even though I don't eat, there is no way the head of the family will tell me, today I want to eat this fish. And then I will say, no, I am not cook because I don't eat. And you know what the Bible says? We have to be very submissive to our husband, and our husband are the head of the family, so we have to respect them. So anytime they say they want to eat something, their wish is our command. So I have to cook, and I know I have prepared something very good. I know I have balanced everything. Me, I will not taste, but he will taste for me, and he will tell me how they taste. Here they are. And that is how we normally cook them. That's what I was trained to cook. And now, take one and taste. And then you tell me how it is. I know it's good. <laughs> we will not taste this. <laughs> there is no way I'm going to eat them. How are they? Zikopoa. I mm. I Me, I'm telling you, there is no way I'm going to disappoint him. I have to prepare something good so that any time I'm serving him, we will eat them. You can serve your ofuru with ugali. I have already prepared ugali. So it's now his time to eat as I prepare my chips. Let me dry this so that I will put my cooking oil. Hey, they have cleared everything. Look at the plate. Look at Ugali. That shows that whatever I cooked was super nice. And they have really enjoyed. And now let me continue cooking my chips. Let me clear this. I know the stomach is so full. 
And here I'm cooking my chip. I have to make sure I drain my cheeks so well. They have to be dry. My people, after waiting for so long, I'm done cooking the chips. And as usual, let me now taste and test whatever I've cooked. My people, this is what I have. My people, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, Regina Joseph. We are loaded to a thousand subscribers. May God bless you. Continue watching, continue viewing, comment, share, and God will bless you. And now let's meet in the next video. Good night. Bye.